And we are going back to murder now. Uh, we got some side questing we can finish. Here too. We just got to, we've really got to, hang on. I just needed to make sure I was recording. Sorry. I use one screen, so I don't have like a second screen that lets me look at the recording device. What's up, buddy? May as well let you slug brains through, you know, sneak in some other way. Can also visit that spider, give him more insect parts. I can finally do the food side quest. Here's your spring onion peanut. Magnificent. A moment, if you please. V fries the spring onion in a drop of sesame oil, along with a paw full of vegetables and some soy sauce. He pours the mixture onto a sheet of dough, carefully folds it into a ball, and then... Whoa, that's a lot of steam. Voila. Basil. Received a basil. Smells divine. Next, I want to try to make my magnum opus. My ultimate dish. See, I had a dream once. A dream of a forbidden food. A food not even the gods would dare to make. A cookie base encompassing a salad, all in the shape of a paw. Picture it. Dessert and greens, all in one meal. That sounds odd. Dream big, my friend. But I'll need something special for this work. Bring me high quality chocolate. I will make for you the king's paw. Where the hell am I supposed to get high quality chocolate? Oh, is this it? Here's your chocolate. Wonderful. A moment, if you please. V is making a mound of cookie dough into the shape of a paw. While it bakes, he begins preparing a salad. Chopped cucumber, tomatoes, onions, fresh olive oil. Now he's combining the two. He's stuffing the salad into the cookie paw. This is madness. It's illegal. The highest of blasphemies. You try to intervene, but V pushes you away. His vision cannot be stopped. They don't like God in this game, do they? <clears throat> I feel like a very mean a <laughs> no, 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 I'm not going to say that. I feel like somebody who just doesn't uh, like religion made this game sometimes. Voila! The King's Paw. Conceptually, the food is incredibly off-putting, but when you take a nibble, you are hit with an enticingly blend of flavors. Warm dough, sweet, bitter, sweet chocolate, delicately crunchy salad leaves. This is potentially the greatest dish ever created. Yes, you know it in your heart of hearts. Then real- do not make this in real life. No, it's not. This is the pinnacle of gourmet cuisine. No meal will ever surpass this. Food is over. It's done. And with that, our food journey is complete. I hope you've gained a greater appreciation for gourmet cuisine, my friend. You know what? I think I did. Thanks, Chief. Bon appetit, my gourmet friend. Okay. So we need to... Yeah. Whoa! What? I'm giving that to... This stuff recovers energy now? Nice. But that's, that stuff is going to be instrumental in helping us. I don't think I can fish anymore, but oh well. For me, a needle mends and creates. For Celio, it's a deadly sore. Needlework is all down to one who holds the tour. All right, let's explore the town. We got side quests to beat. Hey, is it really okay for us to be wandering around like this? Psst, that's fine. Everyone thinks you're dead, for one thing. Ghost by name, ghost by reputation. I guess that's true. I doubt even the palace guards will recognize me. Right, the palace. I better get moving. Plague Master Aquila will be waiting for me. Good luck, Sibohan. All right, come meet us in the Twisted Tales when you're done. Okay. You know, I've never been to Murida before. Is this all there is to it? Dinky houses and sad-looking people? Pretty much. Hey, Verm, don't be rude. Show going around. 
I'm not a tour guide. Besides, I don't even live here. Ah, uh, Vroom. So humble. You're practically a local. Just take her to the city center and go from there. Do it yourself, nerd. Psst, I've got errands to run. I'll meet you in the Twisted Tales in a couple of hours. Go have fun. What errands does he have? What was that all about? You don't see what he's trying to do? Bow? Oh, sheesh, you're both as thick as mud. Bow? Forget it. Come on, let's go to see the city center. Clan Grey canceled. Sky Garden goes walk. Hmm, the Daily Tale certainly has an angle. They're still talking about that? Dad's working late again. Yelling gods above, squeaky rats below. So much damn noise. My rent's going up to 3,000 seeds a month, and I still don't have a loo. I legit thought that was what the pot was for. Move it, nerd. I got places to be. I keep telling people this isn't a library, and yet people come in just to stand around, reading our books. I come here just to smell the books. Love that. Still not saying anything new, huh? You still hustling this sucker? Yep. Nope. These guys are all the same. Thanks to your patronauts, I've saved up for a uni. Time to become a law master. Oh, you're welcome. I suppose. Alright, we got several side... Hang on, Gwen. I got several side quests I gotta tune in. You, my apprentice, where have you been? I was busy, and Sky Garden's not exactly around the corner. True enough, pardon my impatience. Time has become my enemy. The guard grows suspicious of my dealings. Did you meet Matilda? Yeah. Wonderful. I can see from here that the fabric's now a beautiful, vibrant red. How did she rate it? A plus. A plus. She really laid on the praise. Excellent. That Connor truly is a master reaver. Here is your paycheck as promised. Five seeds. Your final task, my princess, is to take this fabric to Vinium. A fine sea st seamstress there by name of Penelope owes me a favor. Hang on, I gotta write this down because it's gonna be a while. Fabric to Vinium. Ask her to fashion the fabric into whatever garment she sees fit. A seamstress and vinium, okay? I'll be back. Who the hell is that? Paydays! <laughs> you wish the spider the best of luck and all the... So that's probably all the... 35 seeds in my wallet. And a god blade on my back. Gonna give people trouble. And that's a fact, yeah. Uh, I think that's all the side questing I can do now. Alright, let's get back to the town square. Here, the city center. Cool. So who's that? Well, it's... Ratless. This is Ratless, the rodent who stole electricity from the gods. Oh, you know, your mythology. Bits and pieces. Only what my brother taught me. I see. Show me something else. Like what? Use your imagination. Surprise me. Alright, follow me. This is the shipping district. See that pipe? There's a labyrinth behind there. That's where me, Bruce, and Sibohan fought a Kraken. I can't be right. Krakens aren't real. It's spoken rhyme, like a wiggly board. Ah, I see. This is a prank. Don't pull my leg, dude. I need to come right off. You can accept Robot Can Kennedy and Armored Stouts, but you draw the line at Kraken Poets. Look, I was born in a cage, not under a rock. I know the difference between Muswolves and reality. What? 
No, no, it's nothing. Where should we go next? How about somewhere where we can't smell the under river waters? All right. The hell is that? Some ratty artist wannabe comes by the wharf every now and then. Dodgy look. What's he up to? I don't know, but there's some people here to talk to. I was hoping I could take some seeds. That fancy dressed polecat fella? That's Farquaad of the Alien Empire. Musty Lid's got a bad rep, but Farquaad's a good one. He won't bite. I came here seeking adventurers, but alas, my ship is being serviced. It may need months of work. Alas! Dude, do we get to go on an adventure? Going on an adventure! Well, I've gone everywhere, so we just need to find a place, I suppose. This is the merchant quarter. You can buy stuff there. Like food and clothes? Oh hell, is that one of those proper fancy murdering cafes? She has blue hair, who knew? Eh, I guess it's kinda obvious. You gotta have it's an RPG, you gotta have at least one person with blue hair. Mmm. So this is a cappuccino, huh? It's pretty good. What did you order again? A maca mach machka ma machcha latte? Don't know what that is. What is matcha? Looks green. Tastes green, too. Well, it tastes green? Yeah, you know how sweet foods taste blue and sour foods taste red? I have no idea what you're talking about, but I want to try it. Give me. Fine, take a sip. Mmm, this is great. It's rich and creamy. Oi, I said a sip. <laughs> I can't quite taste the color, though. Your tongue must be more sensitive than mine. Ooh la la, an indirect kiss. Heh, <laughs> you weirdo. Hey, Vern, do you like boys or girls? I don't know. Never given it much thought. Seriously? Yep. I spent half my life focused on killing the yellow god. I didn't have room for lovey-dovey stuff. But even when I had time to think in Vinium, I just got fixated on farming mushrooms. What? Is that odd? I don't think so. You've been through a lot. Maybe when this is all over, you can make some time for yourself and discover who you like. I don't know if I'll ever like anyone in that way. Follow your own path, Duke. You're good at that. I'm all coffeeed out. Where are we going next? We're learning a lot about these guys. I guess we'll go down here. Nope, not here. The palace, maybe? Dating is hard. Yep. See that? That's the palace. No hell. I can practically smell the Amogis perfume from here. I bet the inside is nothing but gold and marble wall to wall. Pretty much. Sibahan somewhere in there right now with the Plague Master. And somewhere else in there is the King and Blade Master Leo. Sibahan told me that you used to look up to Leo. Yeah, when I was a kid, I asked my brother to sing me the Needle Knight song over and over. I thought Leo was the perfect hero. I wanted to be just like him. But then you met him in person and the image of the Shining Knight came crashing down. No, that's not quite right. Leo was everything I expected. More than I expected, really. He's a mouse who absolutely believes in his cause and will fight tooth and claw for it. But what's his cause? Being a sword of the state? For his pomp and virtue, there's no difference between Leo and the Kashkuin of Sky Garden. You might be right. This place sucks. Let's go somewhere else, somewhere less snobby. I mean, the king, I don't, I don't agree with Gwyn on that part. The king actually hasn't ever said or done anything terrible or wrong to people. Go to the bar? I feel like we should go to the bar now. That's less snobby. Dadgummit, really? This place isn't that big. Where the hell is left? Alley? Nope. 
Maybe inside the library? I'm confused as where she wants to go. Less snobby. Oh, this is near where we came in. Yeah, got her in. The outskirts of murder. It's where the normal people live. Normal people. Yeah, you know, as opposed to the landlords and nobles and whatnot. Mice and rats just trying to get by. I see. Normal people. Honest people. Well, I wouldn't go that far. What are you two dweebs looking at? Y you're that saver busting kid, right? Yeah. Didn't you die? There's woods in the tunnels that you- at least. Yeah, I died. Yeah, I died, but then I clawed my way out of the underworld. Whoa. Keep walking unless you're looking for another beaten. They seem nice. Yeah, they're alright. Let's go back to Ratless. I want to see something. Thank you for at least telling me where you want to go this time, Gwen. Back at Ratless again. Now what are you doing? Getting a better view. Come on. We'll attract the guards' attention. Maybe you will if you keep up that shouting. Come on, stop being a Duke Downer and jump up here. Bup. Bup. Oh, cool. Huh. Right? What a view. Yeah. A million rats and mice all living in one place. I've never seen anything like it. If we don't stop the yellow guard, they'll all die. I guess so. Kind of feels like we're having to hold up the world like old Ratless here. You seem pretty calm about it. Staying cool under pressure is my nature, like. Your nature? Right, like how thinking problems through is Sibahan's nature. And focusing on the positive Bruce's nature. So what's my nature? Well, you tell me. My nature... I haven't a clue. No shame in that. I hope you figure out your nature someday, Verm. When this is all over, maybe they'll build statues of us four. Ah, oh, don't say that. Solid gold, just like the dead dukes. Definitely don't say that. <laughs> I'm just messing, like. Let's just focus on the path in front of us. Can I date Gwen? It'll be a challenge to fight a god, but maybe Excalibur will give us the upper paw. Yeah, a weapon that can kill a god. Gonna just save the game now just because that was a lot. Oh, wait. I gotta search those paintings. Nope. 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 Dad, give it. Something about one of the paintings. Oh, there's something odd about this painting. Search it. And discover a mystery key. Ooh, how cute. What the hell am I supposed to do with a mystery key? Dad, give it. My hint only says key behind painting and palace, but where the hell does that even... Does that unlock a door? Where was... Has there been a locked door anywhere? I don't understand where there's a locked door. Dadgummit, where's the key go? That's Plague Master Aquila. I don't want to go there until I've ch checked everywhere else. Yeah, they're not going to let me in there, so we'll get... Okay, back to Plague Master Aquila. Is there a hidden passage behind this painting? Nope. Dad gummit. I mean, exterminators all wear the same stuff. How are we going to know that the yellow god we're hunting is the same one that killed my brother? 
Hey, Plague Master, you've returned. Did you have a good break? Yeah, I was just seeing my pals, you know, my mates. You mean the treasonous rebels over in Sky God? Uh, uh, relax, I don't care about that. There's a much more pressing matter. Oh? Interesting, inheriting the title of Plague Master. Have you given it any thought? Will you take on the mantle after I die? I will. Very good. I'll take you to Excalibur. Now? There's no better time. Oh. Well. That's not what I expected. Jeez, man. You trying to tire people out before they can steal the blade? Ow. We're in an elevator. Where are we now? This isn't rodent architecture. And we're moving. Oh, I see. This is a godly lift, isn't it? Correct. Recently constructed, too. Keeps going up and up. Where does it go? Tell me, Sibahan, what do you know of the Thunder Age? Oh, uh, it was a time of catastrophe that Rodentia endured nearly a century ago. Fire eggs rained from the sky, destroying everything where they land. Oh, World War II. The gods took shelter underground. God and Rodent huddled side by side as the sky fell. You know your history. But tell me, Sibahan, what are fire eggs? Hmm... I suspect they were weapons, powerful ones, created by gods for use against other gods. Indeed, very astute. And if one were to come across an unhatched fire egg... Plague Master, you're not saying what I think you're saying, are you? Follow me. Oh, God. It's a statue of a mouse in a lab coat. The plaque reads, The universe is vast, or ignorance vaster still. Dr. Ein, the first Plague Master of murder. Dr. Ein studies and learns. As I save my game. Please tell me you don't have what I think you have. Please tell me what you don't have what I think you have. This building is certainly something. Where is Excalibur? Hidden, of course. If a god were to discover it, all our work would be for naught. Honestly, hiding something this big from the gods has been nothing but hassle, especially with the renovations. But I digress. Press that red button, Sibohan. Please tell me I'm not in Big Ben. Why do you have a bomb? Whoa! This is it. Excalibur, the Fire Egg. An authentic relic of the Thunder Age. The Thimble God found it buried in the bowels of the Underriver some 50 years ago. Plague Masters have been studying ever since. 50 years of research? On one weapon? A rodent's life is short and pathetic. So intergenerational knowledge is crucial if we want to push the boundary of understanding. It took decades to find and decipher the relevant god texts to reverse engineer the wiring and machinery. Through careful analysis, my predecessors learned every intricacy of the weapon, what it's made of, the damage it can do, how to hatch it. You can hatch the egg? The trigger is a hard impact, a fall from a great height. The only reason it didn't hatch on its initial fall is due to a technical error, fascinating stuff. So this cradle mechanism is a catapult. No, a ballista. And the egg is primed to launch through that window. Clock face, to be pedantic. But what's down below? The godly halls of Parliament. And below Parliament's floor beds, the streets of Merida. When the yellow god arrives, intent on destroying the city, we will greet him with fire and thunder. After all, only a god weapon can kill a god. 
Plague Master, if the stories about fire eggs are true, this won't just hurt the god, it'll devastate Merida. Thousands of rodents will die. Tens of thousands, by my estimation. That's horrible! But, I think I see your reasoning. You see, this cruel weapon is the only way, right? An ugly necessity to save a few rodents from complete extermination. Sibohan, please. I'm not some knuckle dragging you uh, tailoring. Uh oh. Then, why? I was born beneath the floorboards of a godly library, so I learned how to read godly writing from a young age. The first book I ever read was a heavy tome t entitled The Anthropocene. At first, I thought I was reading a speculative text, a science fiction parable, a warning about what could come. But the more I read, the more I came to realize that it documented the horrors of what the gods did and what they continue to do. I despised the gods, each and every one of them. They spread, they consume, they destroy. If they can commodify a part of nature, they will. If they cannot, they kill it. There is not a single place on our planet that the gods haven't colonized and corrupted. So now carcinogens fill our lungs. Poisons infest our food. Plastics course through our blood. By their hand, soon the oceans themselves will boil. The yellow god is not the worst god. No, not by a long shot. But he epitomizes their cow's disregard for life. Their need to dominate nature without a second thought. What is the death of one million mice to the yellow god? An ordinary day of work. A job well done. So you want to kill him? I can understand that. But what about the rodents who live in murder? What about them? Murder is the rotten capital of a rotten country. Oh, she's gone insane. We are ruled by a filthy rich idiot of a king, descended from a long line of filthy rich idiots. Upheld by a noble class who peddle tabloid lies to protect their palace of blood and bone. All defended by a god of bullies and sociopaths. Who else is there? Oh, yes. Tax dodging merchants. Paul Bar hooligans. Plague deny. Yeah, no, they've just lost their marbles and want to kill everybody now. Back alley louts who'd murder a child for half a seed. Bigots who spit upon those they deem queer or degenerate. But worst of all, a common class who look at this green and pleasant country's descent, then shrug and say, yep, they've gone nuts. I do not relish the city's destruction, but I cannot see anything worth defending. It's true. This country has a lot of problems. I've had moments where I've just wanted to take my wand and burn everything to the ground. But I don't because there are good rodents too. Rodents who stand up to injustice and fight to make things better, like... Like Sir Verm. Huh? The dead vagabond? I thought he was hell-bent on killing the Yellow God. Yes, but he wouldn't have trampled on innocent people to do so. You cannot be that naive. From what you've told me, I can only conclude that your friend was a single-minded brute. Every action he made was in service to his egotistical vengeance quest. He would have seen Rodentia in flames if it gave him a chance to upend nature and satiate his bloodlust. I... I don't think that's true. He wanted to kill the Yellow God, that is true. But it wouldn't do... I mean, he wouldn't have wanted... It doesn't matter. This ideological talk is going tiresome, so let us return to the material facts. The Yellow God is coming, and only a God weapon can kill a God. So it's just like you say, this cruel thing is an ugly necess necessity. Where are you going? Out. I quit. Find another successor. I won't force you to remain in my service if that is your decision, but think for a moment. Be a scientist. Think rationally. What do you know about rationality? You're so warped, wrapped up in your warped, pathetic view of the world that you can't even hypothesize a better future. That's not science. That's a cult of hopelessness. Sibohan. Sibohan! Pity. But no matter. But you two had fun, right? It was fine. Sure, Verm's a gentle mouse. But I'm just saying, you're the world's worst matchmaker, Bruce. Sheesh, can't I blame a guy for trying? Oh, hey, it's Sibohan. How'd it go? You look a little shaken. Um, well... So that's the whole story. I think Aquila's planning on launching Excalibur no matter what. And when that happens, thousands of rodents would die. Excalibur... I've heard the whispers, but I didn't think such a terrible weapon existed. And right above our noses, no less. Could it really kill a god? Doesn't matter. If it's like Sibohan says, it'll take out the city with it. Right. This just complicates things. Now we have to worry about both the yellow god and an absurd weapon of mass destruction. 
Nuts. What's a doomish prick the Zaquilla is? Something doesn't add up. If the king knows that the yellow god is coming, and he has a bang of a solution ready to go, why doesn't he just evacuate the city, tell everyone to run and hide? That would cause the smallest loss of life, no? Ha! You're having a laugh. The king doesn't give a flying fox about us common folk. If we all died to the yellow god, you know what he'd say? Good riddance. Mate, do you mind? This is a private conversation. Sorry. Oi, oi, listen. We're on the same side here. We don't know much about this Excalibur malarkey. But we do know that something must be done about the Yellow God. We've been doing our homework. We know the damage coming our way. Yeah, so we're planning a protest. We got hundreds of allies in Gutter End. Hundreds. And we're going to march on the Powers Gates and have a word with His Majesty himself. That's not what they're going to... We've got a list of demands. A proper manifesto. What good is this to us? Wait, Vroom. This could work. To reach Excalibur, we need to go through the palace. We can't just waltz in. We'd be arrested for sure. But if there's a protest, that would distract the guards. It might give us a window of opportunity to reach the weapon and destroy it. Aye, but how do we reach the yellow god from there? You know, rumor is there are hidden tunnels all over the palace. I bet one of them takes you where you need to be. Hidden tunnels, ghosts, and muskwolves. It's possible, Severn. I've overheard whispers of passages the royals can use for emergency escapes. Perhaps one goes straight to the godly hall above our heads. Okay, so, assuming we gain access to the palace, and assuming we destroy Excalibur, and assuming we find a secret tunnel, then it's just a simple matter of killing a god of death. Easy peasy, right, Vern? Diversions and secret passages, kings and gods. This plan is even worse than the one for Sky Garden. Let's do it. Of course the mad lad's on board. There's still time until the night of 13 chimes. We should make sure we have all of our affairs in order before the big battle. An inventory check would be a sensible idea. Aye, I should probably drop by- Oh, it's hinting- I see. Well, we can wait. Go do what you need to do. Come speak to me when you're ready. Okay, so that was the uh, hint of, hey, you can do your side quests now. Speaking of side quests, here's one for Verm. Damn it all. My life is a damn wreck. First- that blonde twink humiliated me and took my title. Then those scissor sisters gave me lip and then, then, you alright? Are you alright, sir? He's beyond help, he's steaming. I'll go get a glass of water. A glass, bring a whole bale and drown him. Ugh, I'm fine, just, just, just give me a sec. Okay, I'm sober now. Hardly. Sober enough, you judgy prick. Hey, you're bounty hunters, right? Yes, yes, sure, we're bounty hunters. Perfect, that's perfect. I've got a job. There's a thousand seeds in it. Interested? You're drinking something that smells like vinegar. I don't think you have a thousand seeds to give. Tss. Shows what you know about wealth, or fine alcohol for that matter. They call me the Sterling Knight for a reason, you know. Fine. I get it. You're loaded. Who's the target? Do you know Rosaline and Macy of the Thimble God? Two mice with scissor blades? We've met. Good. That makes things easy. I'll spare you the details, but we were out on a reconnaissance mission. Then the younger one spotted something and got spooked. She went crazy and took a swing at me, unprovoked. I fought back, blood was drawn. Then the older one stepped in and took a swipe at me too. I was lucky to make it out alive. She wanted me to track down these two deserter knights. And then what? Bring them to justice. You mean kill them? Attacking a superior officer is a capital offense. Sheesh, I didn't think four hardened warriors would be such prissy pansies. This guy's the worst. Even by tinhead standards... He's trying to rope us into a murder scheme just to keep his own paws clean. Disgusting. I think we should take the job. Really, Sibohan? I think there might be more to this story. I don't know where the thread will lead, but it can't hurt to follow it just a little, right? I mean, maybe. Where did this all happen? Soul Hill Village. You know it? Of course, it's in the songs. Those stupid songs. Ugh. But yeah, that's the place. I bet Dizzy knows where it is. Maybe we'll head over there and see what this is all about. Great, just remember, a thousand seeds for their heads. I'm sure that he's the one that did it wrong because that's how this writing goes. Uh, I still don't know where to use the key for the thing. But let's go to Dizzy. Let's go get this side, because we gotta get all... It's letting me know that once I start this, I can't do any side quests. I don't know if I'm going to be strong enough to kill the yellow, the white god, though.
Oh, aboard. <laughs>